Hi, I'm Rowan, and uh, today we're going to do a video that's not about baking bacon. No, this is going to be a video about um, exporting your avatar on its own separate layer and being able to export the background, in this case something is playing bacon bacon on its own layer, and um, being able to move your avatar around so that if for some reason you did something silly like put your head in front of the video, um, yeah, you could move your avatar and not worry about it. There's all sorts of reasons. I'm sure you have them. I don't need to go into them. Let's go and talk to you about what it's going to take to make this happen. So we need to use a filter called Source Record it's just called source record. I added backgrounds because that clarifies what section I'm working on here. I have one for the backgrounds and I have one for my monitors and I have one for my avatar only. So you're seeing me up here. This is this is uh, on my OBS over on the right that I'm using to do my actual recording. The OBS on the left, I have an avatar also that um, there we go. There, hi, I'm up here. You might be able to see me. Hi. Um, I've got to make some noises again. Got to move the microphone. Anyhow, yeah, so uh, there's there's my avatar in the on the uh, OBS on the left. That is what I'm using to show you what's going on. All right, so I've got a video going on over there. And, of course, I'm sitting in front of it over here. And um, I'm going to be able to move me around, but not the other one. Eh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Anyhow, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our filters. We're going to look at source record. And you see that it's in recording mode. It's got a file path. And we're going to do this as an MP4 for the background. And... There's no stream mode. We're not dealing with streaming on this video. Audio track is track one, Mr. R Direct. So why do we have an audio track on this? It's so we can use it to sync everything together when we're putting the layers together in DaVinci Resolve. Okay? So we're using QuickSync AV1 on um, this background layer that I'm recording. There's no transparencies on this, so I don't, uh, so I can use that format. Um, if we look though at the avatar only version, filters, there, you see, I have a centered version of me, and uh, we're in source record avatar, and I am using. Um, MOV for my recording format. Why is that? It's because MOV supports a transparent background. So that's the first critical bit. Now the next critical bit is that, of course, we have our track one. Oh, we're using Rowan. That's fine. We are recording with HEVC, NVIDIA and Bank HEVC. Why are we doing that? Um, because it's the one that works. It has lossless rate control, and it actually works with source record. Uh, for some reason, there's a couple other ones that I've tried that don't work. Either the file comes out as zero bytes long, or it just doesn't write it in general. So your mileage may vary. But this one works. Lossless bit rate, whatever, 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 whatever. Play with that as much as you want to. Adjust things to your joy, and then we'll move on. Okay, and of course there's also one for monitors here, because um, I use monitors. Sometimes I don't have my background on. Sometimes I have monitors on. Yeah, okay. So, um, what else are we doing here? Oh, well, we've been recording this whole time, so now I should have um, at least backgrounds, monitors, avatar. Oh, yes, and there's my regular output, which is all smashed together. And now we're going to go to... Why do I not have DaVinci Resolve running right now? I 
I don't know. But we'll get there. All right. So now I have DaVinci Resolve here, and we're doing a recording, and we've got it in front of us. Good. And we're going to delete these old pieces of media that don't have to be there. And we are going to import new media. Import media. And, oh my goodness, do I have a lot of stuff in here. Okay. As I keep doing this. Eventually I'm going to get this squared away and I'm never going to use it again. I want to look at details. And there we go. Okay, what do we have here? We have PM, avatar, and background, and monitor. So we have the full file, we have the avatar file, we have the background file, and we have the monitor file. We're going to open all three of those. Four of those, sorry. Oh, I imported the wrong files. Sorry, guys. Let's, uh, let's clean these up, and now let's import our files. Import media. That ought to do it right there. And we have a full file there with all our backgrounds and stuff. And here's our avatar all by itself. And yeah, it has a black background right now. We'll fix that. And to do that, go to the avatar. And then we go down to, no, not generate. We need to go to clip um, attributes. Why does it seem like it's always somewhere different? There. Okay, this time it's all the way up here. And we're going to go down until we find alpha mode. See, alpha mode. And we're going to change that to pre-multiplied and hit OK. Let's drag it in and look at it here. OK, so there's our, there's our avatar. And it's got a nice checkered background that says that it's got a transparent background. OK, we're going to look at one more thing here. This is the only weird hokey thing. We're doing this in the free version which means we don't have the wonderful AI weird things going on. If you will look really closely, you'll see that I have a black edge here, which, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, here, I don't have, I don't have any edge here, but I do have it here. And that's just because it's free. What do you expect for free, right? Okay. So that's the basics of getting this avatar in here. Um, now, how do you do stuff with it? Well, let's throw the background in here. And then let's push you out. Pull you in. Delete out the extra. And now, would you look at that? Here I am all centered instead of being on the right side. Okay. Oh, what if I want to move my avatar? Well, you can go up to here and you can use our transforms here. Um, hold on a second. There, now I'm over here. Okay, so we have selected our video and we can change our X position, I believe. There, see, now I can move over to the left and let's re-enable this layer. There, now I'm out of the way of my video. Now, if I hit play, it's going to sound ugly. I'm pretty sure it's going to sound ugly. Yep, it's not in sync. I wonder why. And... That would be why I said we needed to have separate audio layers. Here, let me show you this up close. Let's zoom in. Do you see that? This and this. These two audio forms match. 
question is, why is there so much dead space? Well, that's kind of a problem, don't you think? Well, we can adjust for that by um, always giving us a little bit of breathing room at the beginning of the video. Yeah. Now, that all makes sense, doesn't it? So the question is, why isn't the video moving? Well, it's because for this part, I don't think the video is actually on. This part, we, uh, we were looking at a monitor. So let's play with some more stuff here. Um, first, let's shrink things down so that they're not really just jumping in my face. And then, all right, so let's bring up the part that has the monitors. See, this part has all this animation going on that this part did not. Okay, so we push out our avatar. Let's zoom out. Just making sure we can do this. And now let's zoom back in. Oh, do you hear all that? Again, let's zoom in some more. Yeah, let's zoom in some more. Let's look at our audio again. Oh, look at that, won't you? Let's get that stunk up some. I think that's where we're supposed to be. Oh no, we're supposed to be all the way over here. All right, we don't care about looking at the video right now. What we care about is what's going on with our audio. Let's mute. Oh, that's very close. That's very close, but we're not quite there. All right. First, because everything's linked, I can just move this back to here where it'll link properly. It'll be properly uh, synchronized. Let me enlarge this. There we go. Let me get this pulled back to here. Now, you see what's going on? Now, you can probably hear that everything's in sync now. Okay, and that's what's important about having these different audio tracks. Because this filter doesn't load at the same time for different sections. So, that's the main trick. Everything else is finesse on your part. I think that's about it. Any questions? Leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. If I can. If I can't, well, um, I'll tell you. <laughs>